We're going to prove the following trig identity, that cotangent x minus tangent x equals 2 cotangent 2x. Now when I talk about this in class, I always say to students, start with the more complicated side and then work towards the easiest side. Now to be honest with you, I this side to start with works better than this side. I think this side is a little more complicated than this side. So we're going to work with this one first. So we're going to prove this identity and here's the start of my proof. I'm going to start with 2 cotangent of 2x. And I know that uh, cotangent, I know two identities. I know the sine of 2x and I know the cosine of 2x. So I'm going to rewrite this in terms of sines and cosines. So that's going to be 2 times cosine of 2x divided by sine of 2x. Because again, we know that cotangent is cosine over sine. And the angle comes along. Now I'm going to use trig identities to rewrite cosine of 2x as cosine squared x minus sine squared x. And I'm going to use a trig identity to do cos 2 sine x cosine x for sine of 2x. Now that's not looking much better, but you'd be surprised what's going to happen next. Now a lot of students say, how do you know which uh, cosine 2x identity to choose? Well, I think you could choose any one of them, um, but this one I noticed, if I take a look at where I want to go, I want to have two things here that combine sine and cosine here and sine and cosine here. So if I write it this way, I can split this up and then I have sines and cosines everywhere. I mean, you can try the different identities to see what happens. Uh, this one works the best. So you have two, and I can rewrite this as cosine squared x divided by 2 sine x cosine x minus sine squared x divided by 2 sine x cosine x. So all I did is I took the difference and put the denominator under each. So it's kind of like when you're in uh, doing uh, arithmetic. is You can write 2 plus 5 over 3 as 2 over 3 plus 5 over 3. That's exactly what I used to write this term right here. It's the exact same concept. If it's legal here, it's legal here. So now comes a fun part, especially for most students. It, students love canceling. So I have two cosine x's here and I have one cosine x here, so one of those can go away with one of those. I have two sines x here and one sine x here. One of those can go away with one of those. So I'm left with 2 times cosine x over 2 sine x minus sine x over 2 cosine x. Now if I distribute this 2 across, I get uh, distribute here. I, those 2's cancel, so I'm left with cosine x over sine x. If I distribute the two here, those two's cancel, and I'm left with sine x over cosine x. And then the last step is rewriting the other side right here. So this is where I started. That's where I want to end. So I want to make sure the last thing I write is that. So is it true? Let's see. Cosine x over sine x is definitely cotangent of x. And sine x over cosine x is tangent of x. So we have proven the identity.